it's difficult to relax in a dementia unit because there is just so much going on, especially difficult for the elderly ladies with Alzheimer's. Many have been living on their own for years in quiet, peaceful places. Then to come straight to a dementia unit, which many do, is a shock to the system and it's extremely stressful. And to be able to reduce stress, we need a place where we can relax and unwind. And dementia units are not built for that. They're not designed to be able to relax. So the way to get around it is to make the bedroom of the dementia resident a quiet, calm place of solace so they can reduce their anxiety and stress and at least get some space to themselves where they can have some quiet time and hopefully some peace of mind, which they well deserve. I mean, it's so stressful coming into a dementia unit, leaving everything you've known, <clears throat> coming to a completely different environment, not knowing the routine, the staff, the residents, everything is foreign. So practically everyone experiences anxiety when they first come into a dementia unit and of course stress of anxiety. So they need that relaxation to be able to unwind from that, to then be able to cope with all the other things and problems and stresses of dementia as well, of course, is there. But anxiety is that extra layer on top of it, which at least can be settled in part with a relaxing environment. So as the lounge is not relaxing, because that is where everything happens, the medications, the trolleys, the phone calls, the calling out, the multiple conversations, on it goes. The only place where there can be a place of respite and relaxation is the dementia resident's bedroom. Pretty much that's the place of privacy. Not totally, I have to say, because there's no locked doors in dementia units, but at least it's their own place, their own space. So the room needs to be set up as a place of calm, comfort and solace with that in mind. So all the things that go with that, the first important item really for that is the all important, beautiful, comfortable chair, best the one that they've been sitting in at home for however long, that suits their shape, that they can get out of easily, that's familiar, that's comfortable, that's, you know, set for them or suitable for them or right for them, bring that in, try and get a room with a nice view that they can look out on. I find that actually dementia residents prefer to look at the view, you know, the birds, the mountains, the even the cars. Some people, dementia residents, enjoy looking at the cars parked outside, interestingly enough. So whatever their preference for view, hopefully you can get a room that suits that I actually find out of the 30 residents I worked with at the dementia unit I was at, only if two or three liked the television, practically everyone else preferred the view. So attractive view, comfortable chair, and of course, pictures around the walls that they're familiar with, those pictures at home that they had in the lounge where they could just, you know, sit and gaze at, or oh, the family, or could be a picture of the farm, or favourite seaside beach scene if they love going to the beach. Just their all favourite attractive pictures around and make sure that it's warm of course, heater needs to be there and then they're set up, you know, maybe a little coffee table, a bookcase where they've got their favourite magazines and books and activities and everything's set up comfortably so they can relax and unwind. Lots of ladies like to have a, a rug over their knees and, you know, maybe a pillow for their shoulder or neck if it's sore. And that's it. They can just sit, relax, unwind, reminisce, be with their memories. And once they're relaxed, once a dementia resident is relaxed, then they're in the position to be able to deal with everything else, of which there are many issues they have to deal with in a dementia unit. But at least a, a relaxing, calming room can be put in place. And so these are the criteria to follow. Also written at length in more detail in the Residence Voice and the Residence Rise. 
everything in the description below on Amazon, companion books, a good positive read. So thank you for your support and your likes and your subscriptions for getting this channel up and running and please pass on the links. Thank you.